Now Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky, which means that it would be pretty easy to spot. And this also means that historically, it would have been also observed by the various cultures and it would have its mentions in the ancient cultures. So we'll go to that, but to, let's find Sirius. How to find Sirius? You need to look at the belt of Orion and the three point stars downward. The Sirius is to the left. So to be more precise in coordinate system, Sirius is right ascension 6 hours 45 minutes and 8.9 seconds with declination about minus 16 degrees 42 minutes and 58 seconds. This is in the universal coordinate system. So back to the ancient culture. Now thousands of years ago, the ancient Egypt, a culture that watched sky carefully, the helical rising of the Sirius coincided with the summer solstice. A helical rising occurs when a star, after having been hidden by the daylight for a period of time, can once again be seen shortly before the sunrise. Its displacement from the elliptic causes its helical rising to be remarkably regular compared to the other star, with a period of almost 365.25 days, holding it constant relative to the solar year. This rising occurs in Cairo on July 19, uh, Julian placing it just prior to the onset of the annual flooding of Nile during antiquity. So the flood of the Nile was mystically considered to have been caused by the tears of Isis, mourning her slain husband, Osiris. Sirius was therefore connected to her pain and sacrifice, but also her immense determination and faith. Due to its brightness, Sirius would have been seen to twinkle more in the unsettled weather conditions of early summer. Now, to the Greek observers, this signified emanations that, that causes malignant influence. Anyone who's suffering its effect would be caused to starstruck. It would be described as burning or flaming in literature. Now, it is also sometimes called a dog star, which may sound rude because I mean, what harm could a star do to someone which would offend him to call him a dog. I mean, but Sirius is nicknamed of star because it's a part of the constellation Canis Major, Latin for the greater dog. Now the expression dog days refers to the period from July 3 through August 11. So when Sirius rises in conjunction with the sun, the ancient felt that the combination of the sun during the day and the star at the night was responsible for the extreme heat during the midsummer. In 1718, the English astronomer Edmund Halley discovered the stars have proper motion relative to one another. This means that the stars, including Sirius, move across a sky with a predictable angular motion with respect to more distant stars. In 1844, the German astronomer Friedrich Wessel deduced from the changes in the proper motion of the Sirius that it had an unseen companion. And on January 31, 1862, American telescope maker and the astronomer Alvin Graham Clark first observed the faint companion, which is now called the Sirius B, or affectionately, the pup. The visible star is now sometimes known as the Sirius A. So Sirius is a binary star system and it appears bright because of its intrinsic luminosity and the proximity to our solar system. At the distance of about 2.64 parsecs or 8.6 light years, the Sirius system is one of the Earth's nearest neighbors. Sirius is gradually moving closer to the solar system, so it will slightly increase its, its brightness over the period of time in the next 60,000 years. So after that time, the distance will begin to increase and it will become fainter, but it will continue to be the brightest star in the Earth's night sky. Sirius A is about twice as massive as our sun, which has a mass M0, and it has an absolute visual magnitude of about plus 1.42. It is 25 times more luminous than our sun, but has a significantly lower luminosity because uh, other than the other bright stars such as the Canopus or Regia. Now the system is between 200 to 300 million years old. Now at a distance of about 2.6 parsecs, the Sirius system contains two of the eight nearest stars to the sun and it is the fifth closest stellar system to the sun. 
Now this proximity is as we talked about the main reason for its brightness and with the other near stars such as Alpha Centauri and in contrast to the distance highly luminous supergiants such as Canopus, Regal or Betelgeuse. Now the most recent is the Jaya mission which in 2017 discovered a massive star cluster near Sirius named Jaya Cluster 1. So according to the recent study released in the February of the last year, the Jaya 1 is particularly massive cluster. In essence, it weighs at about impressive 22,000 solar masses and it's about 29 light years in the diameter, located at about 15,000 light years away from Earth. In addition to its size, the fact that it was previously undiscovered, its proximity also makes it an opportunate target for future research. So Sirius is a nice star and the next time if you look for the brightest thing in the night sky, after moon of course, then just wonder that it is not just a single star, it is a binary system and it has a pretty interesting history. So I hope you guys liked the video, smash like. Hit subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.